Jenna Got Games. Well, hello again, and welcome back, my lovelies, for what I believe is part five or episode five of Among the Sleep. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Jenna with Jenna Gate Games. You can come and get your game on. In the last episode, we realized that the mother and father was getting a divorce. The I believe the father is abusive to the mother for reasons I'll show you when we get to the prologue. And the mother left and became an alcoholic, and she's overwhelmed with having to take care of the baby on her own and the whole game was how the toddler was interpreting what was going on around him or her um i want to do the museum um i don't know if um i'm going to mix the two and do the museum and the prologue in this episode which if i do it'll be the final episode if not we'll have one more episode to go um uh, this is the same night as uh, episode four so yes I'm still not feeling well so um, I want to um, do this okay so let's go as you can tell I didn't even make my screen big like my frontal lobe is just pounding But let's go see what we can see in the museum. Have a little fun with this episode. Shall we? Okay, here we are. Excuse me, people. Let's go apologize. Let's go to the tippy top first. Some people go to the tippy top last, from what I remember, but I remember I did. I went to the top last. I remember, I forget where it was at, and I was like, where did I see that the last time? Uh, and so. Alright, how do you, okay, I have to say. Okay, see, here's my little thingy right here that I get. And see, I don't, I don't think I got half the pictures. I don't think, I don't think I'm getting that prize, because the walls don't look filled. Daddy, uh, um, give me the what's in here, please. I want it. Oh, shoot. Oh, really? How do I click on Daddy? Oh, Did right. you know that you can collect hidden drawings throughout the game? I'm not going back to get all of them right now. If uh -oh. you do, they will appear here in this room. There might even be a reward if you can find them all. I didn't find them all. You little. Did you know? Okay. That you can collect hidden drawings throughout the game. There's other drawings I collected, but I didn't get them all. I'm mad. If you do, they will appear here. I know. This I know. Room. I know. There might even be a reward if you I can find them all. Okay, Teddy, I get I get your shenanigans. I'm not doing that right now. Okay. Maybe there's some in here. <laughs> I can't get up. Hey, Teddy. Teddy. That's Mr. Bean, Teddy. Okay. The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after the release of the game. It was <coughs> made in collaboration with some of our fans and made to 
elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough. And neither of the parents can do well. You tell them, Teddy. Well, they want to, some people want to act like it's just the mother. It's the, it's the mother and the father. The, the, the mother was innocent, but the father wasn't innocent either. So, tell them. But if I do do the, um, the prologue with this, shoot, this is, um, I may pause the video and then, um, come back to it in a little bit, just to, but the way I'm doing this, I'm not gonna even have time on the shit. We just saw all, this just showed you all of those on that wall, okay. Um, is, that, is there a room over here? Let's see what's over here first. Okay, let's. Well, when I was in here the last time, I don't remember seeing this room the last time I was in here. I don't remember this. Okay. Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. You did not really fight her. And the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamland. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story. I knew there was an alternate the ending, but I don't know. Who. That the story ended without you seeing your mom again. Maybe she got eaten. A MacGuffin? What's a MacGuffin? I'll probably Google it. I thought that was a mo monster up there. Um, before we end the episode, I'll look up a MacGuffin. Old sketches of the layout structures. Okay, I remember this. This is the reveal. This is where you see your mother for what she is, and the player gets to connect the various monsters and sites through the game. Let's see what was back that other way first. If I can go back that way now. I remember all this. Now there's some in here. <laughs> Put them in something. Okay. See, this is the one that reminds me of the prologue of the bunny. Um, I know it doesn't look exact, it's not brown, but I know in the prologue, the bunny has a bow in his head. I think it's a red bow. So this one's got a pink bow. It kind of reminds me of that. Not exactly, but it's a bunny with a bow. But on there, that bunny doesn't have a bow, but in the prologue, I swear the bunny had a bow. But I could be wrong. See, the bunny had a bow, see? Ooh, the mad furnace. These must have been some of those in the original concepts that didn't make it in. There's the mama. 
There's her when she's sorrowed. That one's when she's angry. And I, I believe this one's the dead. I believe. I want to say this one's the dead. It's, his name is Codename Harold. It's the first one who was created for the game. His way back direction was skewed towards a more adventure game. He is as seen in the very first concept drawing made for the project. Harold was intended to be a physical monster in the first chapter. This worked well as a proof of concept in the demo we made. But during production, we realized that it really takes time to build suspense, which is crucial in making monsters feel appropriate and impactful. So that's the shadow I was seeing, remember? I think this was supposed to be the original. It was Teddy, I think, was supposed to be the original antagonist. Or he was supposed to be possessed, anyway. Oh, there you have old me. Or old me. As now I'm just a floaty version in your memory, of course. Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Some are not used, and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate them. Okay. Picture the Teddy, I don't want to say the letter now. Yeah, I want to say something to someone, and I'll try to venture back, but for time, I'm trying not to. Click on every little thing. That was like a gnome. <laughs> no, that's what I'm doing. I thought it looked like a gnome. Uh. This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. The house here is a symbol of family and home falling apart. The bloated so creature Teddy. inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. Okay. Hey, where's the teddy for this section? The playground. That's all you can say about the Something oh. walking around here. Passive threat keeps you on your toes, and at the same time creates the illusion that you might be safe for the rest of the game. <laughs> Tell you all like to laugh, you just cave. was added as a free DLC a couple of months after the release of the game. It was made in collaboration with some of our fans and made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough and neither of the parents handled it well. I'm sorry, I had to respond to a message. Um, and there's the outside, okay. Remember, there was one thing I wanted to go back to because there was another side. Because um, remember, I said I never saw this before. I had to have seen something like that before and just don't remember because 
Unless I get to that room from another way. But I thought there was another way to... Yeah, there's this way. I don't know if I've ever been through here or not, so... Let's see... Why does all the steam power of copper feel steam punky nonsense relate to you, I ask? Oh, I don't remember this. I don't remember the crib. Proceed to see the old ending of Among the Sleep. Now here is something truly special. Oh my gosh. I've never seen the true ending for this. So this is new. Almost was at some point. I mean, it was something about a demon and it possessed Teddy, but that's all I knew. I didn't get actually see anything. You might say here, I got to have more fun than the original ending. Come in and see. I will. I want to see this. Okay. I may just make this a separate episode because I'm just like hey, can I look around? Oh yeah, I can I can look around. I'm like a prisoner. <coughs> Let me go, you fish eyed fools. There's Teddy, what's he doing? And this is when Teddy was supposed to be the main antagonist. Teddy, let me go. What the heck are you doing, you little psycho bear? And there's all my little stuffed animals. Whoa. There's Teddy. Where's he going? What's Teddy going to do to me? What's that little teddy bear going to do? But if he's possessed by that demon, it's probably going to reveal itself, probably. I don't know. You would think. Where's Teddy? Oh, there's a big spoon? Look at that big old spoon. <gasps> oh, you little psycho bear. Oh, your bones popping down sound healthy. Whoa. Releasing the crack in there. You know how Teddy kind of sounds like? Teddy kind of sounds like the dad, in a way. So, was this the dad's evil side, or is this just a demon? Oh, is this cooking pot? You gonna do eat me? Not extraordinary. <laughs> round and round. It kind of like Jack Skellington in the face, kind of. Spices go in. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're dropping the spices. It looks like they're uh, dropping it to the side, but. That's an elephant, not a snail. You need to learn your animals. A hungry starving hippo. His gummies are red. Oh, that's not a hippo. He's cooking my memories. No, 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 sorry. Thank you. You did very well. I will enjoy you very much. No. 
Wow! My gosh. Not only does the little kid have to deal with abuse now, he's getting eaten by demons. Or she. We. But that was a surprise ending to me because, like I said, I knew the so song was like a demon and possessed the teddy, but I didn't really know exactly what it was or how it went down. I don't know how I overlooked that when I was in the museum the last time. But I hope y'all like that. And like I said, we're 20 minutes in already, so... And it may seem longer than y'all because I have to have my intro and stuff, but... Um, so I made this... Make this a separate episode, like a special episode. I might not even label this like episode five. I may put special episode, I don't know, but... That was awesome. Kind of. <laughs> if you get past the getting eaten... Uh, demon part. Why can't I move? Why can't I? Why can't I? Why am I stuck? That is cute. Oh, gosh. That's my mom. And I feel... Hopefully, how am I going to get back up? Oh. It's like I couldn't... Um... I was like, I go to the museum again just to get to that. That would really be disheartening. Okay, at least I come at it from another way. But, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was gonna burp like that. Hey, and welcome to Teddy's Grand, uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Go on, take a look around. I'm trying, it won't let me do anything really. Like it's, I don't know, it's been a year letting me move. I'm not playing anything. I just know that I was playing anything. But, yeah, we're pretty much, that's pretty much everything in the museum, I think. Um, let me see one more thing. Uh, 
find it under to the floor. Oh, there, there was this. What was that? All sketches for the layout and structure of the scrap six chapter. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I don't know what I was wanting to say again. Really, I just came out that way. Welcome to the world that bit the dust. Oh, it was some. Oh, my eyes. Is and all the different cities. I'm going to talk about a negligee city. <laughs> um, oh, this is what I was wanting to see. What was that right there? Oh. This is what I was wanting to see. I was wanting to see what they said about heat. I forget if I clicked on it. I think Teddy said it was make sure. Oh, that's psycho. Now we know what he's all about. Oh, there you have a me. Or old me. As now I'm just a floating version in your memory, of course. Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Some are not used and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate. Now I'm the one that scared me. Okay, you guys, we will call that an episode because, um, like I said, I don't think we're going to have time to get to the prologue because we're almost at 30 minutes. So you guys, I hope you like that. I know I was surprised with how creepy they made that ending as if the game wasn't creepy enough. That was pretty freaking creepy. Um, they could have made it where the monster ate his parents or something. I don't know. Or they also could have made it where he punched the monster in the eye and he got away and he rescued his mother and father. And they worked through their problems and everything had a happy ending. They could have done that. But I don't know. That's just a theory. But next episode we will do the prologue um, and I don't know if I'm going to label this episode 5 um, I may just uh, label it um, the museum um, I don't know we'll see but if you like this episode please give it a big thumbs up actually hit the thumbs up but, but thumbs up button don't forget to hit that notification button as well so you're notified every time a new video comes out also don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts as well as give me a big power tap to that sub button if you have not already done so and become part of the Jenna Squad fam slash crew if you have not already done so. Oh, this heartburn. Um, and my headache. I, I'm sorry, I'm just falling apart tonight. I know. Um, but I wanted to get this out for you guys. I hope I'm looking directly at my camera. I told you I'm trying to get better. Um, I hope you guys get your account fixed, the ones that was having issues. My little bit of an issue, I know it's nothing compared to y'all's. I hope to get mine fixed too as well. I'll be so glad when this night's over with because this is my boyfriend's last night of rotations in his residency because, you know, he graduates his residency this month um, so he can practice being a doctor independently. But... I'm trying to think if there's anything else, which I don't really have to hurry other than I don't feel good because we're almost at 30 minutes. It's not quite there. Um, after I add my intro and stuff, it may be already there, but, um, but, um, yeah, I hope I feel better soon so I can go to work Monday because last week was a slow week and I need to make some money this coming week. Ugh. 
but I wanted to get this con this so dedicated I am to get this content out for you guys and I know you guys would tell me to take care of myself and I am trying to take care of myself but I can't fall asleep well actually I can fall asleep but I can't stay asleep it's like um I'll go to sleep and then I'll wake up a little bit later with bad sleep apnea and bad bad brain fog um well my well I have a little bit of sleep at me and I'll wake up feeling like I can't breathe due to that and I'll have bad brain fog and it, it makes me feel 10 times worse than I already do so I just it's just I just dread having to go to sleep but it's hard to fall asleep like so when I do that's what happens but I don't want to ramble I'm just letting you know what's going on with me please pray for me that I feel better um pray that if it's COVID regardless or if it's COVID or whatever it is that I get better soon um because I just my body hurts my head hurts it feels like someone turned on a water faucet in my head um I'm stuffy I'm just I'm just I'm falling apart but anyway um you guys you know I love you but I'm gonna let you go for right now and I always feel like I'm, I have something else to say right before I get off the episode or sign out. But I, I think it's just me. But you guys, I'm going to let you go. This is Jenna signing off. Until the next one. Tank tough. Stay safe. Love ya.